Hey guys, we just changed the electronic throttle body on this late model GM vehicle. Now we're going to show you how to do the relearn procedure. Let's go. Okay, so you've just installed your replacement throttle body and your vehicle won't idle or has an erratic idle. You're thinking the part must be defective, right? Not necessarily. Over time, your PCM has been making incremental adjustments to the throttle body, resulting in changes to the throttle blade angle. These adjustments compensate for things like carbon buildup in the throttle body. The PCM learns these values and memorizes them to maintain proper engine idle. Now that you replaced your throttle body with a clean, carbon-free unit, the PCM is still operating as if the original unit is still in place. So, you'll need to perform a relearn procedure on the PCM. Here's how you do it. Start and idle the engine in park for three minutes. Initially, you may notice a high or incorrect idle speed until the ECM starts to learn the new idle cells. At this point, the RPM should start to decrease. Next, turn the ignition off for 60 seconds. Then start and idle the engine in park for three minutes again. After the three minute run time, the engine should be idling normally. It's important to note, sometimes during the drive cycle, the check engine light may illuminate indicating idle speed diagnostic trouble codes are present. If idle speed codes are present, clear the codes so the ECM can continue to learn. If the engine idle speed has not been learned through this procedure, it may be necessary to drive the vehicle at speeds above 44 miles per hour with several deceleration and extended idles. After the drive cycle, the engine should now be idling correctly. If not, turn the ignition off for 60 seconds and repeat step three. That's all for now. I hope this information has been helpful. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you on our next edition of ProTech.